Hi guys, so again, you know, same thing. Um, same thing as in... Anyways, um, okay, right, so this is the last video uh, for the day, thank God. And it is a much requested review of the Bobbi Brown skin foundation that I'd shown in a haul like a couple of months ago at least. So um, just to start off, it's 30 mil and it's SPF 15 and it retails in Canada for about 55. So with tax, you're looking at over $60. Um, it does have a pump and um, what can I say? Oh, this is beige three. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, when I first tried it, I honestly thought, oh my god, I totally wasted over $60. Um, I really didn't like it. Um, but I think I mentioned at the time I was just sort of within the first month or so of using uh, retinols or retin-A. And my skin was really, really, really freaking out. And um, I made the mistake of trying this out at that time and I was like, oof, I don't even know what the hell. And um, so I sort of put it on the back burner and, um, you know, as soon as my skin sort of acclimated to the Retin-A and all that sort of stuff, which I know I'm taking a break, guys, and I think maybe when I come back I will do the whole video on retinols, Retin-A, all that stuff, because as my derm said, um, it can take three to six months for you to really sort of acclimate and see any results, so um, I've only been doing it for maybe three, three and a half or so, so... Um, anyways, when it did finally sort of calm down, I started to use this, and, um, oh, what was it? I used a beauty blender with this at first, and I don't know, you know that beauty blender? I just love it, and it really does make any foundation look amazing, the finish of it, except for this. <laughs> for some reason, it does not work with this foundation. The best way to apply this foundation, in my opinion, is with your fingers. And sort of like the MAC face and body, it's the best way for me to apply that foundation. It just, because I just need the thinnest coat, and I don't know what it is about the fingers, but it's definitely better than sponges or brushes. And um, what I'm going to say about this foundation is basically, if you already have good skin, it's going to make your skin um that much better. I mean, it's just, your, your skin's going to look fantastic. If you don't have good skin, it's going to make it look worse. Like a hot, hot freaking mess. Sort of like what I went through when I first tried it on because my skin was not really in that great a condition. Um, and there was, you know, flakiness and dry patches and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, it's kind of reactive. It really made my skin look really bad. More so than the other ones. Um, because I knew, obviously, it was what my skin was going through because even the foundations that I love, you know, like the Laura Mercier Mineral, the Maybelline, the MAC Face and Body, none of them even looked really that great. Um, well, you know what, Face and Body actually worked for me quite a bit. But, um, you know, so I knew that my skin was what the issue was, but this really made it look crappy, like crappy. So, for those of you who don't have, you know, or, or you know, really, really good skin right now. Maybe you're going through a hormonal thing. Maybe your skin looks better in certain seasons of the year. I know mine does. Um, you know, whatever your issues are, if your skin is going through a freak out, do not use this foundation. Um, if your skin is relatively good and, and you like the way it looks, then um, that's when you pull this one out because it does look fantastic when your skin is in a really, really good state. Um, you know, it's one of these things where it enhances what it naturally is. You know, there's some foundations where it masks. So if you don't have the greatest skin, you can use a certain foundation and it'll hide the fact that you don't have great skin. And it'll really make your skin look much better than what it is. I don't know what it is about this foundation, but it just enhances what it is you already have. So, um, now I'm really, really loving it because my skin has sort of calmed down. And, um, you know, certain times of the month I won't use this just because the hormones are shifting and it's not, it's, my skin's looking a little bit duller. That's not when I will use this at all. So I'm actually really, really glad now. And I don't think it was a waste of money like I had, did, uh, like I had felt originally. Um, there isn't really much of a fragrance to it. Um, there is a slight fragrance, but it's more for like baby powder or baby lotion. It's very, um... You know, it's pleasant, it's sort of just fresh, not um, not fruity or anything like that, but um, 
I think most people probably wouldn't smell it just because my olfactory senses are so like crazy, crazy. Um, you know, I'm always saying, oh my God, can you smell that? That's so nauseating. And he'll be like, huh? I don't smell a thing. So <laughs> that's just me and my nose. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, the wear of it. You know, I'm not the best person to talk about um, the wear of foundations just because I don't have a conventional sort of nine to five thing. Oh, ugh. Um, so, you know, there are certain times where I'll be wearing a foundation, uh, for a really long duration and other times I'll only wear it for one or two hours and then I'll wash my face and I'll be done with it. So I have heard with other reviews that, um, it's not the super longest wearing foundation. Um, but again, I can't really speak about that. I'm sure there's great, fantastic videos, um, on YouTube already about it, but, um, for me, I really love it because it's quite yellow, so if you are like me and you have scary, scary yellow undertones, um, this is really great. Uh, Bobbi Brown is sort of known for that, for her sort of ethnic skin tones. Um, she's really good. I don't know how many colors she has. I think it's an okay um, selection, but um, yeah, I'm definitely digging it. I would say that three quarters of one pump will do my entire face. So if you can just squeeze out, you know, the tiniest bit, um, and again, fingers, awesome. So um, if you have any other questions, uh, leave a comment, and I will definitely try and answer. But I think I covered most of the bases. I think. What else can I tell you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So um, again, I hope you guys have a fantastic summer. I don't know when I will be uploading this particular video, but. Um, I will see you um, at some point in the near, far, somewhere in the middle, future. I'm not sure yet. Um, so thanks so much for sticking with me through, you know, my little absence and stuff. Um, if you do choose to stick with me and if you don't, well, you know, totally, totally, totally get and understand. So um, anyways, now I'm just making this video longer than it really has to be. So I'll see you later, guys.